Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Ben. I'm out here today. I got the uh, 1165 out. I'm gonna give it a try. I got some of these chunks here. You saw them. For lack of a better word, these are some of my longer shorts. They're in the you probably 10 to 14 inch range. I'm gonna go ahead and split some of these. It's all hickory, so I'm gonna put them in this basket. I was before I always split my shorts with the 11 with the 2265, and I've always had problems with them falling on the ground getting away from me too much bending over and picking them up so i thought with the push through motion of this splitter i could just split them and with my help push them on off the end of the splitter there into the basket see if this works i may get some of the small chunks later on and split those up i think they would be good to bag i don't know if these longer pieces are working the bags or not i might could get you know a stack in there say half the bag and then another layer on top that might get complicated we may give that a try later on. We'll just have to wait and see. But let's get some of this split up for now. Well, we made pretty quick work of that ranger full of hickory. I got a couple of knotty pieces left. I didn't want to put that through there. Too much of a strain on the little splitter. And you got pieces like this one where the ends are slanted. You don't want to run those through the 1165 the way this push arm comes out. It's made designed to push straight. You hitting something with an angle, it's going to force it to go off in other directions than it's supposed to. 
afraid I might bend it or something. You know, contrary to popular belief, you can tear up about anything. So just use it for what it's meant for. After all, like I said, this is hickory. I'm just using some of the straight grain stuff. Splitting it down small, I'll use it for my own use. I may, I may try to sell some of it smoking wood, like in these little pieces. Time will tell, but I want to go get some of those smaller pieces, you know, like the little four, six inch pieces, maybe even smaller than that. my return bags from down at the roadside stand. This should work good for this. I'm only doing this because I'm a man of my word. I said I was gonna make one of these. There's a couple reasons why I'm not gonna waste my time doing this. First reason is, is I don't have probably enough hickory and cherry to in my shorts pile to you know you know, get somebody started buying this, these things by the bag. I don't have enough inventory. Second reason is it's, it's a whole lot of work. Just for the average Joe firewood splitter guy like me, I don't have the equipment to, to make the chunks, make them efficiently. I mean, I'll use a lot of these myself. But we're gonna bag one up, see how it looks. They might just drop in the bag without using the bucket. We're gonna use the bucket. Try to get the smaller ones. I like the looks of this stuff. Like I say, I'll be cooking a lot of pork this summer. Fat boy may get fatter. My bucket's full, let's see what we got. And I've only got probably, you know, two thirds of a bag. You know, I'd have to sell this $20. I don't know if I could get that for it. We'll go with that. There you go. One bag of hickory chunks. I think I've changed my mind. It's going to be $40. No, I'm just kidding. But you, I'm making these videos and I thought maybe I had more than I did and I didn't think it'd be as much work, but I'll admit I wasted my time. This is just a, on a complete waste. My main mission today, I'm, I'm trying to get the place cleaned up. I've got, I counted seven hickory logs left. I got some logs I cut on another property. There's probably two cord there. I gotta I wanna get that back over here soon. But after that, there's no more cutting and splitting much this summer I'll be just acquiring inventory that I can start back into in the fall so that's the main thing I'm just cleaning up scraps here and there but it was okay it was a 
we, le we learned a lesson. I'm not ashamed to admit when I'm, I'm beat, but if you like this kind of stuff, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And like I say, I, good Lord willing, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.